This is a must try bread recipe. Okay, y'all. Benya na bloodwe. Ekbo bloodwa. Eh, someone who pan on. Aye ready. Bloodwe min kenye. Ke o try bloodwe. O call o shikano kabahe bloodwe ya gwena don da. Because you will have fresh bread out of your kitchen every day. Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to see you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. Today's recipe is a requested one. Ghana sugar bread. It's been long overdue and now that we have our oven, we can do the things that we need to do, like baking. <laughs> Now, if you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. Thank you so much for stopping by. But before you leave, consider becoming part of the sweet team by clicking on that subscribe button right now. While you're at it, hit that bell so you'll be among the first to be notified when I upload a video. Without much talking, let's get started. So for my ingredients, I have my flour, water, sugar, butter i'm using refined butter and i'm using a whole nutmeg butter flavor salt and this is my yeast i kept it in the packet so you'll see the type of yeast that i use and i got this from little okay so i'm going to grate about a quarter of this um nutmeg onto my flour and then i'll add the rest of my ingredients making sure to keep the yeast far away from the salt so that it does not disturb or kill my yeast immediately so now i add the yeast make a well in the middle add my butter half of the water and we're just going to mix it up and i'm going to add the rest of my water little by little until i have reached my desired texture and so i used about three quarter cups of water i didn't i have i had one cup but i didn't use all of it because i do not want to add too much water and have a runny dough okay so at this point this is the texture that i'm going for it is perfect so now i'm just going to knead it some more to create the nice gluten that bread so requires once that is done, we will just um, put it back in the bowl, cover it up, and let it rest for about 10 minutes. So next, I'm just going to butter and flour my uh, loaf pans and set them aside, okay? At this point, it's been about 10 minutes. I do have been resting, so we'll just get it out, cut it up, and um, shape them into the loaves. Um, shapes now in Ghana when you go to the mill once they finish mixing it in the kneading machine they have another kneader that's like two rolling pins two huge rolling pins that they have together and they put the bread through it which creates um, which help creates more gluten and also smooth things the dough and that is what I'm attempting to do here with my rolling pin this is so simple and it also helps you shape your dough better so if you you're not very good at forming um loaves this um method will help you nail your <laughs> loaves every single time okay so i kind of put the loaf pan to make sure i have the right measurements the right size to fit in there perfectly so once you've rolled it enough you just want to kind of roll it into a log okay we just keep rolling rolling until we get to the end and then we pinch the ends together so it creates a sort of a sim. We roll it and we put it in our loaf pan sim side down. All right, that's a mouthful. <laughs> then we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and put it in a warm place. In my case, my oven with the lights on is the perfect place to keep it to rise and we're going to keep it for about an hour or until it doubles or triples in size then it'll be ready to bake okay once ready i'll preheat my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit and just look at our beautiful dough it is just gorgeous <laughs> so now we put it in our oven and now i'm going to lower my temperature from 350 to 325 degrees fahrenheit creating the perfect environment to bake my 
bread to perfection and that's what they used to do with the flan or they'll put the fire crank it up and then right before they put the bread they'll bring all the fire out and they just use the warmth in the flan to bake the bread and just look at that my hubby loves soft bread so i do not bake hard crunchy or you know fall apart bread in my house it's just nice and chewy and soft just perfect the inside is just absolutely nice and moist now if the inside of your bread is like fufu or fufui then you fail though <laughs> so now let's cut it and see if we passed <laughs> just look at that and when you push it down it should bounce back that means you passed and i think we did and when bread starts to smell divine in the house the aroma goes straight upstairs and pull the babies down <laughs> they are my best taste testers when i tell you gabe absolutely loves my bread i mean he just loves them <laughs> just look at him yes he is my best taste tester and then there's namomo they make me proud all the time they just enjoy my food so i'm gonna have a taste too and trust me it is delicious just look at that mm, mm, mm. oh my goodness it is just tasty very airy very fluffy just absolutely perfect thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajili thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and guys bye y'all